the lifestyle marketing is quite necessary for any brand. Because if you say your marketing is to let people aware, to get people to know, trust you and what's true, then if you are not living that life that you are trying to get people to believe that it's no longer marketing, it's deception. They should understand the difference between framing and Online deception. And deception. Yeah, yeah, right. The good marketer okay. will realize that that's not the only way you The only to sell. angle to sell. That's not the only don't angle sell to sell. Sporting, and don't sell not sporting. Remove it from your yeah. mind. Sometimes, thing is believing. People trust what they see. If you see me, you should see someone that is making a million dollars a month. You are, you are like what you are selling to people. Because people will believe 10% of the things you tell them, but they will believe 100% of the things they come to the conclusion of. Prepare your mind, you're going to see that shaggy. I promise you. For like the first three to six months, you will see it. Do not lose momentum. Mm -hmm. Never lose momentum. Keep on going. Like, because mm -hmm. it will eventually switch. So when people see me and they wonder how, it's not, I, I, I didn't just fall from the sky or something. I've put in the work and I've paid people you understand to take me to where i want to be and i'm not going to stop if i see another mentorship that i know that okay this mentorship is going to be very beneficial to me it will align with my goals and i'll pay for it you must make sacrifices <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody and once again welcome to another episode of the entrepreneurs connect show as always what we do here is interview african entrepreneurs to learn about their life lessons journey successes failures and everything in between but today we have what we call the entrepreneurs connect show special and what is it basically we have more than one entrepreneur so it's not a time where we have the regular one-on-one -on -one interviews we have more than one you know person we sit here we discuss we converse have real conversations that will help you in your business and entrepreneurship and life's journey of course you guys liked the last one and you were like record more have more mm -hmm. sessions like this and i heard you so we have another session uh to my far left let me start the intro to my far right actually so to my far you know right go, you know, go school. to your far left <laughs> what's what's your degree <laughs> <laughs> i ask you don't go i like that question I have degree. What, what's your degree <laughs> i also have a civic you're degree. a dropout <laughs> you're a dropout <laughs> So don't don't so, chat when I'm chatting about school. Yeah, you're very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're very mad. So to my to my far right, we have this person with the inconsistent dread. Um, <laughs> um a former affiliate marketing guru. His glory is in the past right now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Help me welcome my friend, everybody. Caleb <laughs> Wanneka. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm How doing does it feel? Good. I'm bringing you out again. So like, um, Oh, you wait, know, uh, are you not privileged that I'm here? I, I mean, mean, was it easy pulling me out? I you mean, you gracing this podcast. Let's <laughs> <I mean. laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, it, let's face it. My first interview with him was like the, his highest blown... He was even surprised at the figures the video used to. Are you, eh? are you not I surprised? I don't understand. Are you my name? This guy came to me and was like, Caleb, thank you very much. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we put that conversation? Wait now, come take it. Eh? <laughs> I want to talk now. No, I said, Check. I, I didn't say the that highest. I said one, one of the highest. I said one of the highest. I didn't say the highest. Oh, one God. of the highest. I mean, the viewers can go and check your YouTube channel. I beg, he's welcome. There, welcome, there, Jerry. There. To my... To my to <laughs> <laughs> just immediately beside him. Yeah, you're, um, you're right. Is Mr. Okay. Chigozi Mebo. This is not... He's not a social media person. Even though he made a lot of money from social media by the way of running ads. Why did he do all this TikTok dance? <laughs> me, I should do TikTok dance. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can't see me online. I don't like the internet. How are you, bro? Welcome. How do you feel today? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I, I feel good. I'm, mm. I'm actually excited to be here among you know, big guys. And it's interesting. You're yeah. welcome. It's You're interesting. Welcome Thank you. Club. You're welcome. Making his um, second appearance on the show. It's like your third appearance because we had one interview. Third. And then we had another special episode, and then we have this episode now. Yep. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Over 300k subscribers across boards on mm. YouTube. One mm. of the I'm biggest followed the creators in Nigeria and, and Africa. Gracing our podcast. Welcome on board, Franklin Imano. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, bro. How you doing? I'm I'm very well. I'm very well. Thank yeah. you. And then to my immediate left, right here. If you if you follow me, of course you already know this young man his name is bruno Mogo, aka the einstein of marketing aka chapinzo the skinzo aka aka what's that other name sensei 
Sense. There's a revelation sense, behind sense, that. Sense, sense, sense. <laughs> it's that sense. There was something you said the last time, Uncle something. <laughs> Uncle G. Uncle G. It was because of the last time. So but you had your Uncle G I, this time. I remember, I remember, I remember things mm -hmm. clearly. But you had your Uncle G. No, it's, it's not me. Wait, why is it your Uncle G now? It's, it's not me. It's, it's not, not me. Income last night. Oh, that's oh, the G. Hello. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's the guy behind the camera, not me. That's the G. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, welcome, oh welcome, welcome, welcome to the show, Bruno. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good, bro. Thank you for having me here. Beautiful. I'm in the pool of the last one, so yeah. I let's, let's, let's let's give it to them again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And I'm excited. You know, there's there's a lot to talk about, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Beautiful. Uh, I like that we're all marketers in this place. We have done internal marketing. Are still actively doing internal marketing. Yeah. So, like, I like to start off this conversation with something that is very common in the internal marketing world, and that is what we call lifestyle marketing so first off let's try to define what is lifestyle marketing and then is there like is there like a line that you should never cross when you're doing lifestyle marketing if I, is lifestyle marketing even necessary lifestyle marketing is very necessary i mean it depends in fact it's necessary in general because mm. whatever thing is you are saying they say not a pastor you can't say you're a pastor and if i go to the club i see you there Mm. It doesn't work. Mm. If you're a pastor, you should be doing what pastors are doing. Mm. Be praying. That's your lifestyle. You should be showing that lifestyle. Don't, don't be following buddies. Just they do your own. That's what pastors should be doing. Mm. Then if you're a gym coach, mm -hmm. you should be... I can't be like this and I'm a gym coach. If I want to come and coach you, what would you tell me? It's not possible, right? Mm. You should be very muscular, muscles showing. Yeah. If you're a health person, you should be very fit. Mm. Very healthy. So that means that's your lifestyle. You are you are like what exactly you're preaching, what you are selling to people. Mm. Right? If I also say I'm rich, if I if I come to the internet, I claim I'm making a million dollars a month. If you see me, you should see someone that is making a million dollars a month. Of mm. course, I'm not going to write it on my head a million dollars, but I don't have to open my mouth and tell you that I'm making a million dollars. You may not correctly guess that this guy is doing a million dollars, but you shall know that I'm a very rich person because it has to show the car I drive, the clothes I wear, everything has to show that I'm making a million dollars a month. Because, come to think of, if you're making a million dollars a month, there's literally no way you're going to hide it. It's not possible. So why is lifestyle marketing necessary? It's necessary because it's to show that this thing you claim you're doing, you are actually doing it. Mm. I mean, you can't be saying A and you're doing B. Mm. It doesn't add up. So if, if, you are, if you are doing this, you should show people also. So those are interested, they have interest in it. Let's say now my gym coach, let's say I have a gym coach. Mm -hmm. Because the way he is, if he's coaching me, I'll be like, ah, I want to be like this guy. I want my body to be like, you see, he's motivating me. But if the way the guy is like, so this thing, and he's trying to coach me, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So it's important because those that want to also buy from you, have to see you as a motivation for them to buy from you. Mm -hmm. So it's part of the reason why it's very important to do lifestyle marketing. Mm -hmm. Are there lines that you should not cross, though? For me, I would say that uh, lifestyle marketing is quite necessary for any brand, or for anything you're doing online, right? You need to put yourself out there. Mm. Um, coming from someone that I'm a very private person, yeah. right? I would love to just be on my own, mm. right? But over time, I've seen where it is also quite necessary, right? To show yourself, right? Come out. Because sometimes, uh, seeing is believing, right? And people want to see and then they buy into what they're saying, no. right? So it's just like you're trying to engage their senses as to like, okay, this is me, this is who I am, this is what I'm selling. Mm -hmm. And from you seeing me, right, and seeing how I live, right, you can actually buy into whatever I have. And this is why most people online, especially if you're in the online space today, you see where people, whether personal <laughs> brand or you run a business, you actually try to bring yourself out. Mm -hmm. Right, expose some level of you know those inner stuff you do, mm -hmm. let people see it, and then they buy into it. Now, look, talking about lines that should not be crossed, um, I would say that I would say it's a yes and no for me because, yes, in the sense that uh, there are lines you should, not, you should not cross, but no, because there are no rules to this thing, 
right? There are no there are no written down rules. I don't agree with you. <laughs> right? I don't agree with you. With okay, that. fine. Let me that, let me that, let that, me hear your opinion. There are a thousand and one lines. There are a lot of rules. There are a lot of lines. In, in, when oh. you start crossing some lines, you are sure that you could go to jail. So uh, no, aside from going to jail, you could actually deceive. And you can actually who, destroy people's who, life. Exactly. So I, I I don't really. But let's 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 hear what you have to say See, about so, it. So so why I say that there are no written down rules. Now this is why I said there are no written down rules. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that there are no lines which don't cross. But mm -hmm. I believe that uh, it gets to a level where l let's say you are actually like an expert at what you do. Mm -hmm. You've got you are, you are, you're not the baby, right? You already you know are groomed in that particular space properly i shouldn't come to tell you that oh these are what you should know and what you should not do you should mm -hmm. understand to some level like you're educated you should understand some things so i don't have to write them down now, i'm talking about things that you do that will actually get you to go to jail or whatever it is mm -hmm. you should understand the law of where you are right obviously this will actually get you to stay away from going to jail obviously then also talking about what you should do not to deceive people I think it's you and your conscience. If you feel that it's okay for you to actually put out it's lies. It's not okay. No, listen. I'm not saying it's okay. I said if you feel yes. it's okay for you to put out lies, uh -huh. right, to deceive people, mm -hmm. then go ahead and do it. <laughs> that's it for me. I, I, that, 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 that's my own opinion, honestly. Mm. Right? You should actually. Now, it is left for these people who watch you to also make decisions for themselves. Yeah, but that's hold the on, thing. People can be gullible. Can I ask you, Franklin? Go ahead. Do you put out lies to deceive people? No. Why, Why don't you do Why? that? Because I know it's wrong. So oh. now, oh. you know it's wrong. So, so you do know people don't wrong. know it's wrong. What, what were the rules that, what, what rules, you know, made you feel like it's wrong? It, based on my brand. Personal <coughs> brand. Based personal on my beliefs, brand, right? right? I want to really follow some strict rule for myself. So I set this rule myself, right? I don't go beyond some certain things. Right even enough. some things that are true, I won't even put it out there because I, I, I don't want it to, like, affect other people because there's there, there some truths that I'm going to put out there and people are going to like want to faint. Do you understand? Oh, oh so God, I, I try to, <laughs> I try to also put it down so that no, we I can all. No, you understand. Yeah, not go faint. Yeah, the law. So, so that is exactly what it is too. On okay, that so, end. so let me let me ask you guys this because I know that Joseph is moderator, but I want to yeah. get us to think in a different direction. Yeah. We said lifestyle marketing. What are different types of marketing, right? And what exactly? What is marketing? What are different types of marketing? Marketing is basically getting people to be aware of what you sell. Mm -hmm. That's what marketing is. Okay. Um, could we also say that marketing would involve creating perceptions and getting people to believe, you know, and trust, basically, building trust. Would, would, that, would that also mean yeah, marketing? Of course. Right? Of course. So, if that is essential to the very definition of marketing, wouldn't that mean that lifestyle marketing, depending on what you're selling, is... A tautology because it's still kind of marketing basically especially if you're a personal brand because there's no way you yeah. have a because if we agree that marketing is to get people to be aware to get people to trust you mm -hmm. to know you then it will by definition mean that when you are the brand that you're selling you're selling whatever it is you do then people have to know you they have to trust you and now what are the ways they will trust you now we can go into different ways they'll trust you. If you show up consistently, doesn't mean people will trust you. They just know you're familiar. Yeah. If you, sh if, but we all know from experience that people trust what they see, mm -hmm. uh, and if you're claiming that, if you're claiming that, this is the results you get. This mm -hmm. is what you do. Then we want to see it because people will believe ten percent of the things you tell them, but they will believe hundred percent of the things they come to the conclusion on by and themselves those, by themselves mm -hmm. and those conclusions will be based on what, what you they, show them what, what they, they see from you you understand yeah. what they see from you so i say that to say that by definition um lifestyle marketing is marketing mm -hmm. yeah but a lot of people don't do it oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we, we definitely don't do it because they don't really understand it right <coughs> but i i feel like maybe we're drawing a dichotomy I mean, no 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 make another speak big english but basically <laughs> <laughs> i i feel like i feel like we are trying to make like a, a distinction where there might not be any necessary distinction now to answer the question where you feel yeah. like well, is there a line the line should be if the truth is that if the goal is to get people to trust you and what you do then the line should be anything that is not true because that is not who you are 
Because if you say marketing is to let people aware, to get people to know, trust what is to trust you and what's true, then if you are not living that life that you are trying to get people to believe, then it's no longer marketing; it's deception. Yeah, yeah. You get. True. So that's that's where me and Franklin will not kind of like draw a line because Franklin is saying it's okay. Me, I'm saying no, that's not marketing mm-hmm. because now that's deception. Mm-hmm. So that's that's my own take, Sean. I get so I mean you know that so how do I frame this now? When I started out with marketing mm-hmm. and all of that, where we could not make up in lifestyle, mm. we made up in screenshots. <laughs> 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 so so I I remember when Caleb made oh, eleven million in that. Bro, Caleb made guess. eleven million. That's a Caleb detention. Do you know that Caleb did not like somebody that was making eleven million? Caleb detention. Everybody well, look, 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 look at it. Look at it this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was looking at someone that was making eleven million in one week, but when I got that alert, I wasn't in Nigeria. I was in Seychelles. Yeah. And I, there were videos of me in Seychelles. Mm-hmm. At least, even I wasn't looking at it, going to Seychelles is not free. But I don't think I don't think that's the point he's trying to make. The point he's trying to yeah. make is physically. You know, most no, Nigerians. Physically, yes. But at least you've seen me like do one or two moves. Mm. And not just that. Okay, you've seen people like Tony kind of endorse me. So you not for these big people to be endorsing this person means this person is actually worth something. Mm. So it, uh, that's still part of the lifestyle. So it doesn't That's it, true. People you roll with. It gets the point. It doesn't necessarily have to be you as a part. Access to people you have because if you're making a million dollars today, mm-hmm. a month, mm-hmm. they cannot, trust me, the people you have access to now. The kind you, of doors you're able to enter. You will open way more doors. Yeah, you'll be so wasting more if, events. If, if I come and meet you now, <laughs> I, <laughs> you just trust me. You're too innocent. Keep talking there's about there's this thing. Keep talking about this thing. Nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> So now, oh, but it's God. true, you're gracing for everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. right, right, right now, you're not gracing me. <laughs> you're not gracing me. I, I, I like frankly, he gives you silent roasting. Continue, <laughs> continue. So, but what I'm trying to say is, if you're making that kind of figure a month now, right now, I mean, lots of musicians in Nigeria don't do it, right? That means you could literally have access like you like Kiss Daniel, maybe like Whiskey on on your WhatsApp. Now, if I come and meet you and I start, this guy has access to these people very easily. Your value has increased. You don't have to show me any other lifestyle. You don't have to show me your G-Wagon. No. That's because true. for you to have access means you are a person of value yourself. Mm. So then, for this, those Tony and Ronald that have been dusting me means that I'm not a small person. Yeah. yeah. You said no small. Me, I'm not Senior small. boy. Caleb Money. Come on, I'm not now. Small. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. on now. <laughs> yeah. So, so basically, we've established that there are like lines you don't cross. Oh, yeah. Yes. For example, you don't take a screenshot from Google. And bring it to Twitter and say, Man, you, you, you don't say, take it off my pocket. When is when is when when, when you don't get pocket, you don't take a picture of the big chlorine that when you don't get pocket to start with. I say, take it, it off my pocket, please. <laughs> and the funniest right. thing is, these people you, still you, keep on doing it. You don't this. come, you, you don't they take people's cars and be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Like, like, just, just to kind of portray the whole point, the whole point is that lifestyle marketing is you extend is an extension of your life. So if you know you're squatting, you are basically sharing apartments with people and then you come out and you're saying i have airbnb but i have a question regarding that so let's say for example someone is squatting right as an mm-hmm. example and you're trying to sell lifestyle marketing and you want your followers to believe in you so that they can you know go ahead and buy what you're selling mm-hmm. are you not trying to say that this person should go ahead to sell the fact that he's squatting of course not no he should that's so, that, he's that, not that a good people... marketer okay whoever it is you're talking about no it's, it's just an example it's okay. an example it's not yeah. a good marketer because a good marketer okay. will realize that that's not the only way you the need only to angle sell. to sell that's not the only don't angle sell squatting and don't sell not squatting remove it from your yes. mind let's for example let's say you travel somewhere somewhere like qatar right uh-huh. and then for the first few months you're squatting with somebody yeah you don't need to you can your sell that you're in qatar yeah. yes without selling and move to qatar is, uh, is good it's, enough it's good enough Framing. you're not lying framing yes so okay. basically what that means is that viewers who are watching this right now they should understand the difference between framing and Online deception, and deception. Yes. So, right because so, there's a clear a difference so, so the thing here is that i think um we are all getting confused because okay. um me yeah, i'm not confused sure. uh yeah i'm trying to say this because of you but mm. for people that have been watching yeah because uh, with this last, you know, um, example you dropped mm-hmm. down, people are going to be confused, right? You don't tell me that because I'm in Qatar, you said I'm in Qatar. 
Maybe I actually went via seven seas. <laughs> You know, no, he I mentioned if, something if you, that if you, you went more like relocated, but you don't yes. have a house, you're sporting yes. with someone. Relocating to these countries on, under the bunker of a ship is <laughs> it's a relocation, right? Do you understand? Look, he, he, he did not sell no, you. Not about he that. did not sell you. He, he did not sell you. He did not sell you. He did not sell you. He traveled to Qatar through first class. Yes. No. He did not he did sell her. He, he literally just said, he I'm in Qatar. He's in Qatar. I moved to Qatar. Whether you went through a bus, whether you were trafficked there, you whether the you, desert, you yeah. passed the desert, you are there. It doesn't really matter. And that when we come matter. to verify it, you are in Qatar. We so how online. do you now sell it? But Even as, as a marketer, you have to now put it in a way that appeals to people. to people, yes. Without I'm, deceiving. I'm, 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 I'm not going to say what I want to say next, just to make sure that I don't elongate this particular one. Okay. Right, so we can go to the next. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, what, what are some life lessons that entrepreneurship has taught you over time <coughs> that you did not learn in school. You go see Chege. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you go to see Chege. Oh my God. Uh, 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 let, me, let me just come in here. So for me, um, I was telling Joseph today when we we're coming <coughs> and I was like, I, 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 we're just talking about different things. I asked him, you know, what's the biggest mindset shift uh, has happened for him? What what me have especially in this season of my life is that I realized that it's it's not a matter of things that you know because there are a lot of things that we know right but we're not doing right if you did there's something Alex Omozi says who I, I really love and respect if you sometimes all you need to do is to do the things that you know and do the things you tell other people to do mm -hmm. right so. I realized that because something happened recently, like we've been telling everybody, we've been telling Joseph here to move to Lagos, right? And to move out of Port Harcourt. Now, wait, the issue is that he's not staying in Port Harcourt. He's staying in Port Harcourt, but not even the GRA part. If you see where he's staying in Port Harcourt, <laughs> we've on. told him to move. I don't, the, the concept here is just move from Port Harcourt to Lagos. So, that, so that, 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 <laughs> What are you saying? Let's not digress, not digress guys. Okay. So, we, you know, we've been telling Joseph to move, you know. Uh, my my friend has been telling me, Bruno, you need to start selling to the you know foreign market because this Nigerian market cannot pay you what you're worth, blah, blah, blah. And I've been saying, yeah, 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 I'll do it. And one day, uh, I just, I paid for it. We, we, a couple of us here, in fact, almost all of us here, in fact, all of us, because we paid for different masterminds. We paid for masterminds with some of our mentors. And... I, I spoke with my mentor and he said, look, you're playing too small. You need to move, you need to move markets, right? That was one. Then we had a, um, a meetup, a session, yeah. a, a session, a special session with Busi Tembukwayo, you might know him. Uh, you, you, you might, you should know Please him. put the pictures. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm For social it. proof. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we had a special session with him. And we asked, we, we asked Vusi, like, Vusi, you know, if you're in our business, what are you going to do? You know, how do you get these foreign guys to trust us? And Vusi doesn't even think. Like, he doesn't even pause. He doesn't think. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't even... It was, it was straight up. He was, as, the more, as the question was giving um, Joseph's mouth, the answer was coming straight. But like, they can't trust you. They can't. He said, they can't. Obviously. He said, you have to move. You have to move. Simple. That's not where the magic happens. This boy, <laughs> this boy, for the first time in his life, he considered moving from Port He started considering it. It's the same thing with what we Port Harcourt thing from Nigeria. Frame it very well. From Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Move out no. of Nigeria, actually. So, no, no, we want to first bring him out of Port Harcourt, then we eventually take him out of Nigeria. The whole, point, the, the, the whole point <laughs> being that, the whole point being, you know, not Tigers again, the whole point being that, what I've realized is very interesting, and I truly realize that. It's not necessarily the word that you know. Sometimes you need to hear the right words from the right person. True, that's true. And that's where mentorship comes in. And these are things that they don't teach you in school. Because there are many of you right now that you're living under your potential. And what you need is for somebody who you respect, who you trust, to tell you you're playing too small. Because at every point in our life, there are beliefs that we have that limit us from performing um, to, at our best. And we need somebody who has gone past that to pull us up and say, no, you need to see differently. So to answer your question, yeah. that's one thing that I've learned recently in the temperature. I mean, there's a lot more, yeah. but it, it's just one of the ones that right now in my in my life in this season mm -hmm. is sitting fresh in my mind. And, and just, just staying on that line, yeah. why do you think it's important to pay for mentorship? 
Nah, that's that's it does. So, so, that's so, so, sorry, before we actually get on that, yeah. right, let me add to what um, Bruno said. Bruno said. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be with a question. How many people have you spoken to, right, that have really listened and taken action? Hmm. Sorry, it's actually that, that like was a very question. That, that, very that good was, question, actually. right? That actually, you know, see it as worth it and, and take action. Take ac yeah. they've taken mm -hmm. action. Now, it's not by only listening to these people. It's a very important thing, yeah. right? When you actually hear from the right person, but it's also when you pursue what you've heard and mm. act on it, mm. right? Yes, yeah. because there are many people that will hear this thing today and they don't, they don't, they don't give a damn, right? Of course. Like, they don't, they don't care. Mm -hmm. They will just keep on living life well, mm -hmm. you know? So, for me, I feel like it is really understanding where you want to be in life. What sure. are your goals? What are your targets? What what, what's your mission? What's your life mission? You understand? For a lady who her own, you know, is to, oh, I just want to get married and have kids and all. She doesn't care wherever she is, as far as mm. I can actually find a good man. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's depending on your mission in life, You're basically. Correct. So maybe for your own mission in life, he, 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 this person spoke into, that, in, that in alignment with your mission. Yeah. You're correct. Right? And uh, auto, like, it's, like, it's like a spark. When you, when you light the match, there is a gunpowder just. Automatic. Clicks. You understand? So, yeah, but. On 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 the low level, on the low level, I still feel like it is where people understand hard work, smart work, right? This might sound quite cliche or like overused or whatever it is, but I think it's still as basic as what everybody needs to actually get started with on the basic level. And when I'm talking about hard work, smart work, I'm talking in the sense of still, what exactly is your mission? What do you want to achieve, right? Do you want to pick up from wherever you are? Pick yourself up from where, wherever you are and try to focus on where you want to be, <laughs> right? Is it is your mission in terms of, oh, I want to hit a million dollars, right? And you're like, I believe that, let's say your goal is to hit a million dollars. The next question is, what are the skills that will get me to a million dollars? Yeah. Because there's some businesses that will never get you. Never. Never, ever get you. Ever. So if you're in that line of business, automatically you are never going to make that. Do you see where everything now adds up now? Mm -hmm. So... A, a couple of things, man. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. <laughs> so I didn't to what Frank said. Yeah. Don't, don't forget the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let me just start from the question first. Well, I've learned a lot from being an entrepreneur. And every day I'm an entrepreneur, every day I wake up as an entrepreneur, I get to realize why some people just don't want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. They just want to do their 9 to 5 and have the peace of They're mind. good. Unpredictable. Because if you're an entrepreneur, you're, it's, it's a very frustrating depressing lonely journey like <laughs> but very rewarding though very rewarding but you first see the cheggy first mm -hmm. so uh, is entrepreneurship is something that you first have to love it before you can actually scale through with it that's what scale i feel through. yes right. I like, I like because that. i love doing business so even if as, as i'm seeing the cheggy in it I'm still moving because this is something I... I the is motivating you. <laughs> to keep, to keep, to keep just going. like when you are in a thousand relationship with an evil woman. <laughs> you don't want to Why be evil woman? Uh, an Anambra woman. Yeah. An Anambra precisely. An Anambra woman are very be, nice, please. No, an Anambra women are very beautiful. <laughs> so, very cute an Anambra women. That's, that's, beautiful. that's the thing Good about her. God bless is. them. <laughs> God bless an Anambra women. <laughs> I don't want to talk. Don't, let's, God let's, bless let's, let's, let's not speak. Man, I'm brown, man. Um, regarding the life lessons we have learned mm -hmm. that's being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. man, is a whole lot, honestly speaking. And um, let me start from scratch. So now, I'm someone who grew up in a family where we believe in nine to five, mm. right? Career like, path. that's career paths, go to school read well, graduate from school, come out with first class get a second. job. I, see, it was like this. I will have come yeah, out to that first that class. Personal. Like this, like True. just like this. The only reason why I didn't get it was because they didn't want us to get it. And then there's me who came out with third class. <laughs> no, that's not, that's and then not, there's <laughs> me that not have any class at all. This one, this one, this one, this one, But that's the, the point here is that there was, there was a season in my life where studying, reading books and all was like where it was supposed to be. So I never really had that idea or I never really saw myself as going to be an entrepreneur at the end of the day. I saw myself as someone who's going to, who was going to get a job, work very hard at the job, you understand, then go up, you know, get promoted and stuff like that. But I didn't realize that, you know, life happens and Nigeria shows you shaggy. And you didn't realize that that part that you're passing 
isn't the part that will get you to where you want to, to where be. you want to be just like what you said as well so now there are different seasons in life mm -hmm. so at that point i didn't realize that okay i needed to change and get into entrepreneur mm -hmm. now i now became an entrepreneur started my own online business that was in 2020 during covid at that point i was about to be laid off from my job because there were no jobs there was nothing going on so I got into it and I saw a lot of shiggy. The first six months was trying. It was shiggyful. Bro, <laughs> it was frustrating. <laughs> it was depressing. So, so for anyone who is thinking that, ah, I'm looking at these guys right now. They are all big guys. They are doing so well for themselves. They are all entrepreneurs. So therefore, I want to be an entrepreneur. See, prepare your mind. You are going to see that shiggy. I promise you. For like the first three to six months, you will see it. Especially if it is in the online entrepreneurial space, right? But then again, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So once that season is like a rainy season, once it comes, once it starts to rain, embrace it. Embrace it. Farm, embrace it and work hard. Grind. Pull out everything you want to Don't pull out. <laughs> no, because that is just the honest. Because I, I see this thing, I see lots of people who waste a lot of opportunities. They, you know, there's something they call momentum. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Toin says it a lot. Yeah. Do not lose momentum. lose momentum. Never lose momentum. Keep on going. Like, cause mm -hmm. it will eventually switch. And you will never know when you can't predict it. So once it's raining, pack as much as you can pack. Now I'll pack as much as you can pack. It doesn't mean you should go outside and go and pack stuff, but then you know what I mean. Do the work. So let me just work. support what I said. You see, the journey of an entrepreneur is like this. It goes up, it comes down. And being an entrepreneur is something like you have to embrace failures because you're going to fail at a lot of things. I myself have failed at a crazy number of things. I've started lots of companies that I failed. So I started an agency in 2022, I failed. In um, 2019, I started a company, I failed. Basically that company, I used all my life savings in tweets. How much was your life savings then? <laughs> <laughs> you said your life savings so like saying. I like, say. <laughs> used it to start a company and I failed. So I basically went for 400 I was aiming to be a millionaire. All hopes came crashing. Child, before play. Nigeria beat that 400 k <laughs> So it's, it's something that you have to keep persevering because it goes up, it comes down. So I'm just going to like give a recap of my story. So when I started making money, first time I made money, not just online, was in 20, I think that was 2018, yeah. So I made money through um, minor job. Then uh, the first time I made like, understand making money, I think I went to farm with my brother. We went to, um, Dig, we are doing like farm work for people. But I think they, they paid them was like 2,000 naira. So we'll go and dig this. Uh, it makes reeds. sense why that example was about gunpowder now. <laughs> 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 so they will make rigs. Then after making it from like a plot of land, then the person will pay us. So then I did it and then I moved into doing other stuff like digging foundation for house, for buildings. Then I moved into serving. Uh, all these Masters. brick layers, yes. Okay. Brick layers, I'll miss mint and sand for them, bring carry block for the brick layers, and then they will this thing. From then, at the point, I moved into making money online. I think the first time I made money online, yeah, that was in 20, late 2018. Yes, late 2018. That was through uh, NNU. Some of you guys may know NNU. It's, it's one popular website then. They had up to a million users. So it's simple. You either read news on the site and they get paid, I think that was like one one naira. Or you refer someone and they pay 800. So I did that and then I made, I think that was like the first month I made 15k, second month 5,000 before everything came crashing down. Now, after NNU, I went into other little sites and this stuff like that. Then I gathered about 400,000. Then I used the money to start my company. <coughs> that was in 2019. I had high hopes. With the company, I thought I was going to be like the next Bill Gates. You You're know, that so kind passionate of, about that kind of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, ah, Bill Gates should be shaking right now. So what is coming? <laughs> but then the whole company. If I didn't make a single naira from that company, no single revenue, not no no customer used us, nothing. Mm. Like the money was just going, they're going their team. There was no longer money to go inside, and everything was done. Then I had to start again from scratch. And then I moved into. Uh, then when I was in school. I used to go to betting shops, so I knew how to book two odds, three odds. Then I moved into selling um, betting codes to people that are interested. I opened a WhatsApp group. Then that was how I started again. I started raising up money, started raising up money. From then, that was then, all this now to 2020. Mm -hmm. 
From 2020, I then moved into selling stuff on WhatsApp. From there, I moved into affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing was also another challenge. It was like, okay, I've gone to a high. Now I entered affiliate marketing. I came to again. I had to try to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. I started learning. So entrepreneurship journey is something that you are going to try a lot of things and you are going to fail. Mm. But the point is to not stop trying. Yeah. Keep trying, keep going, and don't be afraid of failure. I mean, I know in the future I'm still going to fail because there is the only way you cannot fail is if you stop trying. But mm -hmm. so far you're trying out new things. You eventually be failing. There's a quote so, I put up today. If you if you try something, you risk failure. But try if you to. try nothing, what's the conclusion? I don't know. I, 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 why you should risk, <laughs> <you're> risk <laughs> nothing then. Well, if you try nothing, but you, you, you risk nothing. nothing. So that's that's just that's just it. Know, as an entrepreneur, you have right, to keep actually. trying. Oh, that's what you put. Ha! You got this guy. Rest. I did not. I've never. I've not Rest. seen you before. Well, I just know that that's exactly. Yeah, like you're guaranteed failure. Actually, you're guaranteed failure. You're yeah. guaranteed not to Yeah. So that's that's. <laughs> so my question to you guys is, how? I mean, by many standards, people are considered pretty successful. Right. Can I? Sorry. Can I say something just? Before you move to the discussion, it's very, very small. Yeah, right? You should go and listen to your version of the podcast. No, 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 no. no. Now, it's not one talk now. <laughs> Before I go share a story, finish, when I go watch your version of the podcast. You know, the, 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 so, 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 it's, it's important to this because I think people need to realize this. Hmm? There was a year when Musala had the highest miss, goals missed in the, in the, in this, in the league, right? There was a year. Musala had the highest goal leagues. Mm -hmm. But guess who was the highest goal scorer that month, yeah. that year? It was still Musala. Why? Yes, because, trying... because it is guaranteed that if you take a thousand shots, you will probably miss a lot of, a lot yeah, of yeah. No, there was, there was, But there was, you will score was, and win more. There was a tweet that, that somebody... uh, well, I was, it was told that said that uh, Ronaldo and Messi are the two players that has the highest penalty miss. In the world. And they are still the two players that has the highest, highest penalty success score. Yeah. Rates. What does that tell you? It tells you that, look, just like Joseph said, you, you need to realize that. I, I, I hate to put it as you, but, but it's a game of numbers. If you try a lot of it, you look like, yes, I'm making a lot of misses. But you will absolutely be more successful than the person who does nothing. It's true, that's true. Or the person who does little. There's something about Alessandro says, which, you know, back to you. Volume negates luck. If you try a thousand times, you're going to be much more Volume better than somebody. Volume negates luck. Volume negates slow. Let me just say that this is exactly what I actually play by. I play by this rule like crazy, because I'm one person that doesn't believe in luck, right? Yeah. So, so because I don't you believe, believe in, in luck, engineering luck, right? Yeah. Because I don't believe in luck. Create your own luck. I just create it. Like yes. I, I, I go, I go crazy numbers mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. times to make sure that I'm able to achieve that luck. And then you come and tell me, oh, Yo, you're very lucky. I'm like, oh. yes, I'm very lucky. Thank yeah, you. Very lucky. Thank yeah, you, I'm but lucky. I, I'm not, if, I, if I put the amount of effort, <laughs> yeah. if you put the amount of effort, I you'll put be you, lucky you'll too. be lucky too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> people, exactly. People don't see the back end. They don't see the work involved. Mm. They just the success. So, so, how are you guys able to stay focused and consistent through the years? You've been doing this 2016. May is 2016. So, like, eight years. When, when is that 2015, Abi? When, when, when what? When it starts in this internet thing. Oh, okay. 2016. 2016, right? 2016, 2015, yeah. 2015, you was 20... 2020. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Tell him go. Well, I don't think it's about shaggy for me. I think it's about sacrificing some things for some other things. Nah, you sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> you must make sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about sacrificing some things for some things. Sometimes you have to sacrifice some form of comfort for your business. So <clears throat> yesterday night, I was up till, I think that was till 2 a.m. And what was I up to? I was shooting videos. Yeah, so what is the why? That's what I'm trying to get to. Why, why, why do you stay up? Why do you make the sacrifices? Why do you make the sacrifice of comfort and love that? I, was, I, I that? will simply give you one answer. And this is exactly what it is for me. My target is hitting $10 million at, mm. this, at a particular and, age and of my life. And he comes to his, that is his and, vision. Yeah. He has a vision he's mm -hmm. pursuing. Yeah, and 
I look at what I'm currently doing, yeah. right, in the online marketing space, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this is going to get me to that goal. Mm -hmm. I push it like crazy. Mm -hmm. That is it for me. Mm -hmm. That is exactly my why, exactly my goal, exactly my mission, everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, I, that's for you, and it's, it's actually a very good vision. Yeah. But personally, mm -hmm. I don't put a number to my vision, mm -hmm. right? Mine is basically to be able to take care of myself, take care of my family, and make sure that whenever they want something, they can always get it without flinching. Yeah. That's my that's my why basically, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why I keep on going. But Every then, day. Some, somehow, like we are actually saying the same thing, no, no, yes, just in no. different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because have this, I have a vision. vision. Yeah, 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 vision. yeah, exactly. So I think the, the real answer is we all have our vision. Everyone yeah. yeah. has different, 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 the cost different. Of inaction for me. The cost of inaction. Yes. God. What what will happen if I don't do it? What will go wrong? Okay, that's and, another and angle. Now, do you know that one of the things that motivates me? I don't want. I, I hate living in regrets. So I, I, I don't. I, I wouldn't want a situation whereby in the next ten years, and I'll be looking at if I had done the work I was supposed mm. to do now, I would have been here. But I'm not here because I was lazy ten years ago. You were distracted. So I would rather put in the focus. And in the next ten years, if I'm not there, I won't have to blame myself. But like, but but let's chill. If I'm not mistaken, you know, you asked like, why are we still in yeah. this internet marketing thing? Why, that's that's also going to go yes. back, like, back to let's the question. Know, because there are people that are actually working so very hard on several things that in 10 years, they are still nowhere they want to be. Do you understand? So there must be something in this thing. So, so just to rephrase your question again. Wait, my, wait, my question is simple. I'm saying you guys are focused and consistent people. Mm -hmm. And I've seen you at this game for, for so many years. It's not even just about internet marketing. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people come into internet marketing and they're out. And yeah. They're out, yeah. Oh and my you God, see them, their lives are not better. Yes. Are, in fact, I know I've asked about somebody mm -hmm, like that before. Mm -hmm, yeah. So how are you guys able to do it? That you've been here for years. You're still consistent and, and going at it. Let me so let me before because I know you to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so so fucking it does. Um, for me, yeah. You know what's funny is that I I last time we, I thought we were going to go in that direction was that I I hated sales and marketing. For me to be consistent at sales and marketing is a it's a a testament or a lesson for everybody who feels like oh I need to love. What I'm doing before I'm good at it or before I, I'm consistent with it. No. Like, the honest answer is what else will I do? <laughs> if you don't do this, you thing. go back to being a gym attendant. What what kind of life is that? Yeah, it's they will still they will not steal his phone again. <laughs> <laughs> the past through that hotel where he used to work. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel I used to work at the gym attendant, and I was like, what, what, what else is that? And like, I have seen that this part is not so. so to answer, to go back to something you guys said, Dr. Franklin said ten million dollars. Chico said to provide life for his family. That's just for an me. example, not like my target. So <laughs> I, know, giving, I know, I get, I get, yeah. I get. But for me, the key word has always After been. After Sunday, you can't even have that target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the key word for me has always been life on my own terms. Yeah. That's what it is. I want life on my own terms. If I wake up in the morning and I want to be in Dubai tomorrow. I don't want to be restricted don't want to by. Think like I don't want to be I don't want to, I don't want to look at the flight ticket. I don't want to look at. You, 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 I don't want to pass you, through immigration and they're saying that you are yes. Nigerian. Or, like, I, that is life on my own. Is that PTSD? <laughs> see, see, see. So, 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 my point is that, like, that's why the, for me there's a number, there's no number. But if, for every moment I wake up and I realize that there's something I can't afford or. You know, that is the motivation for me to work hard because it means that I can't yet live life on my own terms. There's a, we're having a conversation before we had a meeting with Vusi, and we're talking about oh how much we want. To, you know, Joseph said he wants to be a billionaire, right? We, we actually had that conversation. Yeah, we had that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm not, there, Joseph, I wasn't know you. I was asking Joseph, Joseph in the yeah, car the other day. We and we and, and Frankie was like, why do you want to be a billionaire? And I was like, yeah, I don't necessarily want to be a billionaire, right? But I just want to know that I want to get to the point where, you know, what they say. Money is not your problem, right? I want to have every other problem in the world, but I want to be sure that money isn't the problem. Yeah. And for me, it will mean that money now water. I wake up when I want to. I work with who I want to. I make as much money as I want to. Yeah. I'm able to afford the places I want to go to, mm -hmm. the people I want to visit, mm -hmm. the things I want to do, when I want to do them, how I want to do them. That for me is like the motivation. So whatever that number is, I don't know. 
Mm. Because it can be 10 million today. When I get it, just like how most of us, I remember when 1 million naira was our goal. We got it and realized right. that. That was, yeah, that was nothing. Too small. That was nothing. nothing. So I could get to 10 million and realize that, oh, yeah, well, you know, there's something more. It could and, do and, that. and that's just it for me. That, so, that's it for so me. So does that mean that at, at every stage, you need like, a renewed kind of mindset yeah because, of because you know you kind of feel like i've hacked this mindset and i have the right mindset now until it, it now nah. takes a higher this thing for you to discover that i've actually been you, you for need God. better mindset. so there was a time i was thinking that so what made me get the central ig program was because towing advertising 50k a month and then i wasn't even a millionaire i think what all, all i had in my account was like 200k or like 120k and I was visualizing like, so if I'm making 750k a month, I'm literally a big boy. But right now, what is 750k a month? Wow. You can't even make 750k a day. Something you spend in a day, right? Like, Something you spend in a day, right? My monthly expenses is there. Wow. Damn. No, no. It's uh, Caleb money that is You spend 750k a day, bro. That's why they call me bro. Caleb money. Wow. Mm -hmm. Caleb money. Nice one. Mm -hmm. You can write it there. He spent yes, 750k. He spent <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that he read it. I didn't say that. Try it I didn't say that. I'm just trying to say that at every point you need new mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this, you see this that statement you made. At every point you need a new mindset. It's actually very important. And here's why I said so because I'm going to link it to what Bruno said previously, and it's more of um, you need a mentor. True. That's at every stage of your life, you need someone. You said you said he made a sentence. He said you need to listen to the right words from the right person. Yeah. I remember the day I got started on this internet space, I was, um, I saw Bruno. At that point, I was earning only 42K in Jumia. That was, um, I think that, yeah, per month, 42K, and I, mean, I was. It's, it's not bad. No, it's not bad, really, if that's what you at want. At some point in my I, life, in 20 At some point. How my much? My goal for the year mm -hmm. was to have 40,000 40, sitting person in my bank account, and I was having Bro. I literally told my girlfriend that time that, bro, that with the 40K I was earning, I feel like. I, I can ready to start a family. <laughs> See, hey God, I sent it. Bruno a DM that day. I said, bro, if I can make just ten. I, I have the DM. I He's the still DM. there. I, I, I sometimes I just open my phone. I just go and check it, and I'm like, ah. yeah, I said, like if, if I, I have just extra ten thousand naira every month, every I'll, month be I'll be fine. I'm okay. That was <laughs> as at then. Do you understand? But as time moved on, yeah, you now realize that. You wow. understand? And at at every point in time, you need to link with people who have passed through where you mm -hmm. are and gotten to the next stage because that's the only way they can open your mindset. Because yeah. a lot of us, especially in Nigeria here, we don't really see far yes. because of our environment. So you need correct. someone who is above mm -hmm. to open your mind, to open your eyes to what is actually possible. Right. So it just comes back to what you said about um, mindset. Mindsets. You need people who are actually above you. To take you from where you are to the next stage, so and that's one of these is paying for, for coaching. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah, that time that was um, that was was not to them. Um, yeah, two million. That was too bad. That is not the first time I, I'm. A I've paid for lots of coaches, three million for I've paid back to back, goals. back to back. So when people see me, and they wonder how, it's not I, I I didn't just fall from the sky or something. I've put in the work and I've paid people. You understand to take me to where I want to be, and I'm not going to stop. Mm. It, if I say another oh, mentorship that I know that okay, this mentorship is going to be very beneficial to me, mm -hmm. it will align with my goals and I'll pay for it. Okay, so now talking about this mindset, something. So there was a tweet um, one of my friends made, I don't want to call his name, he made a few days ago about um, um, first class flights in the country where he's already residing, being expensive. And one of my yeah, mentors so came and quoted it and was like, so don't say it's, it's you are just not there it. yet. It's not, it's not and that comes, you see, some people they'll be like, I can't use ten thousand dollars and buy your wristwatch. <laughs> no, your mindset is not yet there. Yeah, she yeah. You know, at, there was a, a point in my life I used to think that having a, a, a condition in your house, having is a security is man. It? No, no. I used to think that it's a lot, it's a luxury. Yes, yes, no. But what having washing machine is what a luxury. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why some of these arguments you see on Twitter that will you allow your wife. Watch this. I like like you know, eh, you don't know, be that's angry. That's where they are. That's how it is. Before I got to this state of mind, I used to feel like, ah, man, 
I mean, if person get driver, they are big. See, no. bro, you know, are you saying that if you have cleaner, if you have cleaner that you are... See, like, I, got, I got those things. I'm like, this is a basic thing of life. It's, Everyone should you have. You know, it freaking saves you time. It saves bro. you time. Bro. Yeah. Every time when my cleaner comes to clean, I'm like, yeah, do your work. I, like, I, will, you. I will pay, I will pay more. Like, do you know, do you know what, do you know what arguments that boss my brain every day? Especially on that Twitter mm -hmm. app. You see some people come and say, I bought an inverter and somebody tells you, why do why, you need why an, buy an inverter? Why would you spend? I'm, yeah, when I see these things, ridiculous. I'm like, but do you know, like, do you know, having in, 24 in hours light does something to your mindset. Yeah. Not just like, your mind, your if, life. If my light goes off, sometimes I the panic. The quality of your life goes off. I panic. Bam. Bro, I don't, I can't, I think it's, I think it's been almost. When, two, when last you did your generator set? Guy, I can't remember this. Exactly. And, and that's the thing. I like that quietness. Yeah. Because when you're used to hearing generators, yeah. like, when I grow up, I literally time, moved to a new place because of this. No. That's why. I'm not interested <laughs> in hearing anybody's. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> I, I, I actually asked two minutes. Oh. Oh. Like, this is the only boy they want for finish this. Yeah, yeah. I throw <laughs> money tonight. <laughs> nah, Bye. That was very angry. I will invest in inverter <laughs> and then you will <laughs> 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 yes, yes, get it. How much is four right now, first of all? Six oh. something that you guys bought. Six yeah? something. So that, that day I was asking you, these guys who are burning for 247 every day, if they mistakenly package that money and invest in an inverter, for example, 700k, 1 million naira, would it not... But do you know, eh, some people actually prefer to burn that fuel. Why? When you look at it, it's still their mindset. It's still mindset, actually. It's still mindset. Actually. It's still mindset. It's still mindset. So you need someone. They would usually feel it's cheaper. How can you? F okay. sure. People feel it's yeah, cheaper. For some well. people, the day to day is cheaper because they cannot afford to put all in that money together in bulk. Right? They and, need and someone to why, open their eyes. Uh, one of my mentors was saying, travel more. Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. I travel, but I want to even improve the way. Because when you travel, you get to see world from a different perspective. Especially if you're in Nigeria. Guys, ah. I mean, travel. if you cannot afford to travel, like outside the country. Go to no, Ghana. Go to Leave your state. Leave, Leave your state. Go to Ghana. 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 Go to so you all these bands here yeah, is like know. regular thousand in Dubai. You so that? you order an Uber and a 2022 bands will come to pick you up. Eh? Do you guys know that I grew up in First Stack here and First Stack had everything. I schooled in First Stack, you know, my uh, my church was in First Stack, all of that. I'm a First Stack boy. I First Stack boy. So why do you not yeah, leave First Stack now? <laughs> <laughs> do you know that I, I used to think that life began and ended in First Stack? That's normal. Like coming out now, I just realized how myopic it was. Mm. And then I'll tell people like, oh, where did they be like I tell people I live in Festac, they'll be like, oh my god, that's so far. Right? When I moved out of Festac and I moved to my own place and I realized that actually <laughs> Festac is first first And whenever I go back home, I see some of the people that I grew up with, I see the place and I'm like, you know? You can't we imagine. We're worlds apart now. Yeah. The conversations I'm having, it, it yeah. can never be the they, same. Can, they cannot think about yeah. it. They can't like, think on your level. It's crazy. They, they feel like it's impossible. And I just wonder like if I'd stayed here. These are the same. These are the same conversations. Of, this is the same limiting beliefs that I'll be struggling with. Now imagine for all of us that are in Nigeria, what will happen when we now live out? Mm. Your kids. Basically, just leave your comfort zone. Leave your comfort leave. zone. Just you see, if I was going to say something that you said. Mm. Like, when, when you talk about spending money on, on, on watch and all of that, mm. I was going to say that. When you see anybody who's making way more money than you, there are three things, right? And I'm saying this from somebody who. Has about to unleash. Let's go. <laughs> I was somebody who worked as I mean, think about these guys, right? I worked as a gym attendant. I was the customer service help. My salary was four hundred k. There were some people that would come to that gym, and they would drop one year's gym one? subscription. You say your salary was four hundred. Sorry, forty k. Uh -huh. Sorry, my salary was forty k uh, per month. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, <laughs> and they would drop. I was not, they would drop you? one year's. Gym subscription. subscription. Like yeah. it's nothing. Like it's not do you, do you know what it means for someone to drop one year's gym subscription? One year of your salary. <laughs> one year of your salary, just drop it as a gym. They didn't drop it as a house rent too. It's <laughs> a gym subscription. Gym subscription is something that you you know that is a is a nice to have. <laughs> when they're not even sure they even come for the next one. They'll just like, drop it like that. How much does somebody has to make? You know, I, and I'm saying this as somebody who's now on the other side because I went to buy groceries wow. one time and I remember buying groceries and you and the lady was calculating everything. Everything got to like way over high, you know, high six figures. And she was like, how are you spending all of this money on detergent? I, there was no food in the grocery world. Detergent, mm. perfume, soap, things I needed to clean the house. And she was looking at me. And now, 
I not went back to that picture in my mind where I was like, I understand where this girl is. She's wondering that, how can you be spending money on things that are not even essentials? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll tell you this because I've been on both sides and I can tell you from this position. Is that there are just three things you need to know. Three things basically are supposed where you are, how much you're making right now, and the person you feel like is making a crazy amount of money. Number one is they know something that you don't know. That's the truth. Obviously. They know something that you don't know. Frankly, know something about YouTube that me, I don't even know. True, no. I probably know something about Twitter that some people don't know. Mm-hmm. Joseph knows something about running podcasts that I don't know, about networking that I don't know. Mm-hmm. These guys know something about Forex that I don't know. They know something you don't know. Generally, everybody in life, Vusi knows something that we don't know. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. They know things that, they, that we don't know. That's number one. They know things that you don't know. Number two is that they are doing things that you're not doing. You see, Caleb said that, oh, he woke up. I mean, last um, pod we had, he was, he was like, you had to wake up to record a, an advertisement at 2 a.m. in the morning. They are doing things that you are not doing. And last but not the least, is that they've been doing it for a long time. Mm-hmm. Frankly, you see, since 2015, right? Yeah. That's almost, that's going to nine years. So if you're here wondering that how is it possible that these guys are Nigerians and making as much money, it's just the tr- these three things. There's something you don't know, there's something you're not doing, and there's something you've not been consistent at. Fix those three things, and I guarantee you that there'll be you can make as much money as you want. And if if you're watching Zell and you have this mindset that ah some things that you're saying are a lot of money right now that you will never do. <laughs> Wait until you have the money. So <laughs> let me let me just uh, go back a bit because yeah. there was something that popped up and then it just died down. Okay. The mentorship thing you asked mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, so I'm just going to simply say, mentorship gives you speed. I think that is a major thing. It's not as if this person is going to tell you what you've never heard before. Yeah. Right, but they're going to really allow you in a path that will actually push you up from zero to 100 yeah. in less in less time. Mm. Right, so if it's something that anybody can afford, go hey. for By it. By all means, mentorship, right? high level events. And do not actually start thinking that, oh, it's quite expensive, it's quite expensive. But not start thinking you're reaching the person. Yeah, yeah. Person. Start, start thinking in the light of where you are going to get speed you're going to get it faster yeah. right you're saving time and i think this is even a mindset thing where people actually want to save time right sorry where you want to buy time buying more time for yourself right with money but you know in this part of the world we think that oh let me do it myself i'll spend my own time DIY. you understand and i'll get the result later but you don't know that the best thing for you to do is to buy time you understand and then push yourself way way forward so in the end, you realize that when other people are doing and doing and doing and doing, you are way ahead. Like you've cut down years. If it's going to take you five years to get to something, it might take you two years now because there's somebody that's going to help you kill off the time that you, you, you will take to get a result. Mm. So it's quite important. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I actually think they should fix in a mindset class in courses in school. I mean, every course, they should just fix a class on mindset. That's why that's all Nigerian courses. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I talking about Nigeria University. No, no, I'm, no, I'm just saying because it will really do a lot of people a lot of good. Yeah, it, it's to be it's, honest. It's real, actually, but it's so it's, it's so unfortunate that who is going to teach the lecturers you don't have the right mindset. No, so no, 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 forget, mindset. This, forget this. Forget this. So, somebody, somebody is supposed to do this because the reason why I said so is when I was an affiliate, right? When I was actually marketing, selling, and when I created my course. I just understood where lots of Nigerians were. It, the, the mindsets were just terrible. Mm. I had to fix a mindset class in my course as the first class. And most people who actually went through that course were doing well. Mm. And they went to that people get other courses, they come back and they're like, they're not doing well. Mm. What was the first thing inside the course? There was no mindset, there was nothing. You just jumped straight into it. Most people enter inside things with the wrong mindsets, expecting that they start a business today and then tomorrow they're on their way to riches. Why? Because Chigozi is making 20 something millionaire no. in one week. No. Those all that way. What I'm going to simply say is super important. Go on YouTube <laughs> hmm, and really educate yourself on the whole mindset thing. That is what I'm going to say. And, I'm, and, 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 I'm really, and I'm really saying it now because, you know, Chigozi actually did add his own mindset thing into his course. To be honest, for me, I'm going to remove it. If I had it before, I would remove it. <laughs> yes, I'll remove oh, it. Why you don't love these guys? <laughs> no, it is not about love. It's mm. about the fact that you actually have to do the work yourself. 
True. Okay, you will see that even from those people that actually went through the whole mindset stuff, some did and some did not do. No, not everybody will go through it. You understand? Uh, so I think it's a, it's now like a personal journey. Individual After thing. your university days and all, you get to a point where you are on your own. Yeah. You understand? So it's a personal race. Just the same way you left your, you know, your hometown and, you know, you're doing way better. Going yeah. back now, it's like, wow. You know? Yeah, so it's it should be a personal thing. And the more you're able to learn on your own, the more you're able to... It even puts you in a, in a, in a, in a place where... You don't need anybody to push you anymore. Yeah? And you're also, you're also able to self-discover yourself. You, you understand? Yeah. Man, All right, so, a lot, so bro. We're, we're, we're wrapping up shortly, and this is how I want us to wrap up. Awesome. I mean, Nigeria is, the, is at the toughest huh. right now. The price of oil, the price of foodstuff, the price of everything is skyrocketing. And we're at the point now where people are saying they want to protest, they want to protest, and, and everybody is right to yeah. protest mm -hmm. so two things number one this is a call to the nigerian government and people in power come on guys you, you people are elected to fix things you people are elected to run the affairs of this country of this nation but somehow things have been going from bad to worse of course we're seeing statistics we're seeing figures we're seeing but the common man is not feeling the impact in the markets beyond the numbers and statistics that, uh, that we have been seeing oh this has happened this has happened the price of Tomato in the market is too expensive. Curry is too expensive. Rice is too expensive. Yam, everything is, is on the rise. People can literally not afford to feed. Please, please, we need you to fix these things. Also, my question to you guys is, how can the average Nigerian going through Shige now? What would be your advice to help them come out of it? I mean, the economy is in shambles, but a lot of you are still living comfortably to, to a large extent. What would be your advice to help them come out from it? Just, a, you know, just you align with something I just remember now, that um, someone sent to me, I'll go to the bloody person, but I want you, since you're the host, I want you to read it out. And, you know, let that be like a question for everybody here. And that's the question. Yeah, she says, um, Bruno, good evening. Here's my question. Why is life so hard? Why is it so difficult to focus on one thing, only to have it not pay off at the end? Why must we pay for knowledge? when some people can't afford it. But Brother Bruno, when I come to you, everything changes. I may not know how to play sports, but I'll be good at it after my first try. However, when, I, when it comes to making money, everything falls apart. I have dreams, and some days I look up to you and read your posts, but nothing seems to work out for me. Are people born special? When someone has a problem, they come to me, and we solve it together. When someone is feeling down, I motivate them. Sometimes I think deeply about life, and I think too much. I don't want to be a beggar, but day by day, I feel like I'm becoming one. I don't even know what to do. What to, did I say? To if start with, that was your brother or your sister. Like, what would, what would you tell the person? To start with, can you just recall those three things you mentioned earlier? It's something that somebody knows that you don't know. It's something that somebody's doing that you're not doing, and then they've been doing it long enough. They've been consistent at it. So how do you find out? So. These three things are the only thing you need. I think that that's the perfect answer to this particular person right now. First of all, yeah, because I picked something from what that person said. That person is confused. Mm -hmm. He says something about doing a lot of things. He needs to stop doing, or he or she mm -hmm. needs to stop doing all those things that they are doing. Find one person who is actually living the kind of life that they aspire to live. That's the first thing they need to do. Find that person who is living that life they aspire to, because that's one of the things that actually motivates you. Once you find that person, ask that person what you said, that information, what they are, what they know, mm -hmm. what they are doing, and what they are doing consistently, and get doing it asap. Don't waste time. And I and I also say this that people underestimate, like we we overestimate how much. I rephrase. People underestimate the effort and time some things take. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You see a Bruno and you're like, oh, Bruno made seven figures in his first month of doing online business, right? But you don't realize that Bruno came out of the third class because he was busy. While everybody else was in school, he was reading, reading psychology books. So all the years that he had been learning psychology and learning a bit about persuasion, all of that was working into bear in those one month he made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. This is all like Caleb. I mean, Caleb didn't go into it now, but Caleb shared with us about how yeah, like, a, like story. his story, his background story of how he struggled, like real struggle. Mm -hmm. 
and the young man is making a lot of money, more money than the average Nigerian dreams about. But the truth is that it takes time, it takes effort, it takes sweat, it takes sometimes tears. It takes an insane amount of time and effort. It takes time, and that's why you cannot just be into it. Like yes, if like Chico said, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but nobody tells you how long that tunnel will be. But you have to make up your mind that no matter what it takes, I will give you what it takes. As long as what it takes is legal. You have to make up your mind that, look, I don't care. If this requires me to send 100 DMs a day, selling my service to people, I'm going to do it. And you don't have to like it. And you don't have uh, to like it. Very, somebody, very somebody important broke, point. Be looking for what they like. Very, you very don't have to points. like it. You cannot say, oh, I don't like... No, you don't have a choice. You can eat, you, have, you have a choice. You can either be broke or you do the work. But you can't choose both. So, to give somebody a pathway, I'll say the first thing is to have a skill, a service, offer, have something of value that improves somebody's life. Number two is to put it in front of that person and say, look, this is what I do. This is how it can help you. All right. This is how it can help your life. All right. And do, if you're starting out for free, if you're starting out, do it for free. Get some testimonials. Get somebody to give you feedback and say, okay, you know, I like this, but you didn't do this very well. I like this. And then you go and improve and meet another person. One day you're going to be good enough that people are going to pay you money for it. And then you now solve the question of how do I make money? You now have another question which will be, okay, how can I scale my income? Yeah. That's a totally different conversation. I, I just hope this you know, helps somebody. Any other and person has something to add? No, to no, just, book. and this doesn't have to be an online business. Yes, it doesn't, doesn't, have, to, doesn't have to be. Please, it's I general to because that. it doesn't have to be an online business because most people see, because we are all online entrepreneurs, they feel like, ah, it's, no, Find it doesn't. Find something, watch card, do as anything. Long, and the funniest thing is, you don't have to like it, my bro. You Please, can you, can you tell them that you, you can do something? Yeah, you can literally do something. You can clean I've people's got to clear bushes, like You can do I'm something. So, you know, there are a couple of other factors that uh, people, like, might not speak about. Yeah. All right? And uh, these factors are quite important to everybody's success. Because I'm saying this to the couple few ones that are listening here. And they're like, oh, this person is extra lucky. That's why. Mm. You don't understand how much I've done. You know, they're people like that. They yeah. just feel like, oh, they are out of it and, yeah. you know, the world is against them and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm saying this to these guys. See, I don't think anybody is lucky. I said it on this podcast. Yeah. I don't believe in luck personally, mm -hmm. right? I create, I, I create my own luck. And for that sole purpose, I'm like, see, everything is in my hands and I'm going to yes. get whatever I want, right? So for you, think about your environment. Maybe you are even sitting among the wrong set of people. Yeah, Let's start with that, right? This is one factor that we actually don't because we are like, oh, work hard, work hard, work hard. Mm -hmm. You can't be working hard in your room and working so hard and then yeah. you come outside and you are looking at people that will drain all of the hard work you've done mm -hmm. away from yeah. your head and everything you've learned in the past couple of hours is off because of the set of people you actually relate with, right. right? So figure out how best you can actually start linking to people that are in your path. For example, when you said you don't have to do what you like doing, you can be yeah. something you don't like. For example, you said wash cars, right? How about you actually spot one of your mentors and you're going to the car wash where you know he's always coming to wash his cars. By so doing, I'm not only washing cars, but I'm meeting this person I want because I want to learn from him. Mm -hmm. you know, like there's some little, little things because when you say environment, people are like, oh, I don't even have money to be in that kind of place. Yeah. But Look at another angle to this, right? When you're now going to the car wash where you're going to meet this guy, not to sit and wait for him because it's, like, it's annoying to even do that, mm -hmm. right? But to even be the guy washing his cars mm -hmm. and you learn from him. There's some things, that, just, just be creative, man. Like, just use your head. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So. And pray. Guy. And pray. Oh, God, do. You know, funny and enough, pray. I was going to ask you, like, so what's the role of God in, you know, this, but that's a different and, and uh, pray. On, 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 another pray. Episode, on another episode, we'll talk about that. Well, but thank you very much, guys, for showing up for this. I'll be back again. I'll do another one, another one, another one. You in pray. the meantime, <laughs> keep watching the Entrepreneurs Connect, Connect show. show. Tell them to subscribe, of yeah, course. Guys, subscribe, yeah. subscribe, hit, hit, guys. hit the subscribe button. And let share. us know if you learn anything. And if you learn something, it. please let us know. I like to know. I'm in the comments. I like to see what well, people okay, say. Well, okay, so so well, when you finish watching and you subscribe, you can just comment Caleb Money. I'll see. <laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, see you in the next episode. Yeah. Thank you very much for staying through. Yeah, good night. Take care. Awesome.